Good morning, students. Welcome back. This is Dr. Mercado speaking. I hope all of you are having an awesome week. Um, week number five is just about to get started. Okay, this is Accounting 2401, Principles of Financial Accounting. And during week number five, we are going to have um, one major assignment, which is your test number one. Uh, let me go ahead and switch over to what we're going to be doing this week. So this week we are going to be completing test number one over chapters one, two, three, and four. Okay. This week I'm not going to have a lecture over content. I'm just going to basically summarize what you're going to be doing because you are going to have two assignments this week. So there's really nothing that I am going to be explaining on my end rather than just give you the information. Make sure you mark it in your calendars. That way you don't miss the deadlines. Okay. Now this week we are going to be completing our first test over the first four chapters, which which is chapters one, two, three, and four. The test is open from Monday, uh, February the 15th at 8 a.m. all the way through Thursday, February 18th at 11 p.m. So you have four full days to complete your test, okay? I don't wanna hear the excuse, miss, I forgot, or miss, I thought it was due on Sunday because I'm letting you know in this lecture, it's also posted on Blackboard, it's also posted on your syllabus, okay? So the excuse that I forgot is not going to be valid, okay? So make sure you mark your calendars, you make time during the week to be able to complete your test, okay? Now, after you complete your test, you're gonna begin working on your comprehensive accounting cycle problem. This is a massive problem. So I am giving you part of this week and all of next week to complete it, okay? Do not procrastinate. Do not leave it for the end because you're not gonna do well on it. You need to plan your weeks, plan your time so you can be able to complete the assignment and get a good grade on it and master the information being presented. The comprehensive accounting cycle problem is not due till next week, uh, the February the 28th at 11 p.m. So you've got plenty of time to work on it. Now for both assignments, you have two attempts. Okay, I give you two tries and I always keep the highest grade earned. If you do not get a 70% or better on your first attempt, I highly recommend uh, that you utilize the second attempt provided to try to improve your current grade. Okay, so it's very, very important that you stay organized, that you meet your deadlines. Um, if you do not perform to that 70% mark, that you study, go back, review, study with the areas that you missed um, and retake the assignment. That way you can have another opportunity to improve your grade. Okay. A lot of students, you know, lack, I guess, motivation or they feel alone. I don't want you to feel like that. And I know I, I have all of the faith in you that you're going to do awesome because you all have been doing awesome in all of your assignments. So I'm confident that uh, how you've been performing in your quizzes and your homework is going to translate the same way as how you're going to be doing on your test. Okay. So you've got this. You can do this. And I am positive that you're going to do great. Okay. Now, let me transition over to my course in Blackboard, okay? Let me go over to week number five. Okay, let me go quickly to week number five. Here we go. Okay, so week number five, I give you the information as to when the exam is available. Um, and I give you the problems that are going to be on your test. This information has been made available since week four. That way you could begin practicing, studying, and if you had any questions, you could reach out to me. At this point in the game, I am not going to be answering any content-related questions. Those questions should have been brought up last week so I could have addressed them before the test became available. Once the test is open, I do not answer any content-related questions, okay? So on your test, you're going to have a problem dealing with financial statements, how to prepare your income statement, retain earnings statement, balance sheet, and statement of cash flows. You're going to journalize a variety of transactions in a two-column journal. You're going to journalize adjusting entries. You're going to prepare more financial statements and the closing entries, which includes the income statement, retained sta earnings statement, and the balance sheet, and journalizing closing entries. Um, and then you're going to have 35 multiple choice fill in the blank questions. You have three hours to complete your test. Okay, three hours. Um, and the test is worth 150 points. That is 15% of your overall grade. Okay, so it is worth quite a bit. I highly encourage that if you do not meet that 70% mark, you give it another try. That's why I give you two tries. Okay. 
So that is what's going to happen Monday through Thursday, your test. So I recommend Monday you use it to refresh your memory, to study a little bit. Tuesday you take your first attempt to see how you do. If you do well, then that's the end. Okay, you can start working on your comprehensive project. If you don't do so well, you get time to review a little bit more and then retake your test so you can be able to meet the deadline of Thursday. Okay, now um, there's a lot of objectives that are going to be covered both in the test and the accounting cycle problem. These are the things that students need to know for when they leave my class. So they need uh, the test is going to cover basic terminology and uh, about the different assumptions, principles, and constraints of the accounting environment. You're going to be able to identify the differences between accrual and cash basis accounting. You're going to prepare financial statements in accordance to GAAP. Um, you're going to prepare the income statement, the balance sheet, and the statement of retained earnings. All of that is going to be covered in your test. Now in your accounting cycle problem, you're going to analyze and record business events in according with GAAP. You're going to prepare adjusting entries and close the general ledger. And students are going to complete the entire accounting cycle and the closing journal entries. Okay, There is a lot of things that's going to happen in these two assignments. So it's very important that you give it your all and that you try your very best. Okay, So um, I've got the reminders of the due dates. Test number one, due February 18th. Accounting cycle problem, due February the 28th. Um, and then I've got the links here for both assignments. Okay. Um, once you go, this is the comprehensive accounting cycle problem. Um, it is very long, very intense. That is why I'm giving you two weeks to work on it. And I expect nothing but the best from you. Okay. You do have two tries. You, we've covered all of this material in your homework. There is no reason we're not going to get a good grade on this assignment. The only issue is, just like anything in accounting, it is time consuming. Okay, It's not fill in the blank. It's not multiple choice. You need to know what you're doing to be able to complete it. Okay, So I love this project. You're going to be giving under instructions all of the transactions that need to be journalized. So you're going to be journalizing all of these transactions and then all of the requirements. So if you see, there's a lot of things that you need to do. So you're going to journalize the transactions in your journal. You're going to post to your ledgers. You're going to prepare an unadjusted trial balance. You're going to do adjustments. A variety of adjustments are provided. Um, you can, you're going to prepare a spreadsheet. Um, you're going to journalize the adjusting entries into uh, your ledgers. Um, you're going to prepare an adjusted trial balance. You're going to prepare your financial statements. And uh, you're going to uh, do the closing process and then finally prepare a post closing trial balance. So there's a lot of things that are going to happen. Um, so you need to be familiar with the process of the accounting cycle to be able to know okay, what am I going to do. This covers chapters one through four. Okay. Now, these are the instructions. Um, I recommend that you print the item out. That way you have it handy as you're working with the item. And then you have the different tabs where you're going to be doing the different things. You've got your journals. You've got your ledgers. And then you can expand them. Okay. And then you, put your, you enter your transactions on your ledgers. You're going to prepare your unadjusted trial balance. Everything is here in every tab. Okay. So you have to complete all of your tabs. You have 10 check my works for the tabs. Uh, utilize those consciously. Make sure that you know you work the whole problem out before you check your work. That way you're able to see what areas you got right, what areas you don't have right. Go back to your uh, textbook, refer to it so you can be able to get some guidance um, how to complete each of the components. Okay. So this is what your accounting cycle project um, is going to uh, look like. Okay, so that is basically it for what's going to go down week number five. Remember to please, the most important thing this week is for you to complete your test number one during the allotted time frame. Four weeks are given, are being provided to you. Please, please mark your calendars. That way you don't miss the test window because I will not be opening up a test because the student forgot to take it during the time allotted. Okay. That is basically it for what I have for this week. I want to wish you all the best of luck. Um, I know you're going to do wonderful. You've been preparing for this as you complete your homework assignments. A review was provided. That way you could go back and practice each of those problems that are going to be on your test. Um, 
If you have any issues not related to the content of the test, please feel free to contact me. I'm available here to try to help you as much as I can, uh, but as long as it's not content related, okay? Because uh, once the test becomes available, I don't help students um, dealing or clarifying any issues with the content. That should have been done the prior week, okay? So that is basically it. You've got this. You're going to do great. Think positive. Eat a good meal before you take the test so that way you can be focused. Make sure you're in a secluded place where it's quiet and you're able to, you're going to be able to concentrate. Um, you know, just try your very best. And if you don't do very well on the first try, there's always that second try that you can attempt. Okay. That is basically it for me for this week. Have a wonderful rest of your week. And until next time. Thank you.